these um, collapsible veggie steamers. I've used one in the past, you can see this one's burnt in. This one comes on like three feet. But the thing is, you don't always want it. Yeah, I usually break this tab off. I left it on so I could suspend it and have it as a raised, bit of a raised fire, but if you want to have it in a more closed position as such, and to get it just to, to boil a pot of water or something, and it keeps gonna keep collapsing out. Yeah, you could stick something through it. You could stick some wedges in there. Anyway, I come up with another idea, which I'm gonna try out. Oh, I'm gonna show you what I've done. Cause it's, I'm trying to keep it all lightweight. I'm back in a sec. So, just a, a lightweight pressed stainless steel plate. That's just to stop burning the, the grass. This one comes on little, I can raise this up with a bit of pipe. Not a problem, I haven't got around to that yet. I took the center part out. And basically all you got is a couple of tent pegs, like so. Pull the clips off. Let's have a... So this one, this diameter is slightly bigger than this one. I think uh, the, the biggest they come in is about 28 centimeters. Uh, 11 inches I think uh, I saw but this is about 24 and you know for an extra uh, five box or whatever I can't be asked to order a larger one larger one so if you want to to close it open and you want it to stay in that sort of diameter so you've got like a you know a little cooking vessel then what I've done is I got some ordinary clips you see these in the stationery stores. You get small ones, bigger ones. I got these. Well, I had them rather. I got some tent pegs. I bent the other end of the tent. Well, that's the original. I bent that end up and I put a little divot in there so it'll sit. Well, like so. On here. And I guess you could just uh, do it like that, I guess. You could do it like that if you wanted to. But if you wanted to have a little bit more security, and it's a bit fiddly, because I'm, I'm, I'm still playing with it, you see? I'm still playing around with it. What you need to do is, you need to get one in at least, on the side there, on a suitable position. And you need to feed this thing through, and this is where it becomes difficult, it's okay. See, you can't feed it through, like so. so Put that one down, feed this one through, and already put this clamp on. This is where it gets even more awkward. Put that clamp on, put that over there, click that down, maneuver that into position, which you can do. Now we're getting there in the center. Now we drop that down, drop that down, turn it into position maybe because we need to go in a bit closer yeah okay we've got that in position now we'll do this one yeah let's get it right first let's get it opened up so yeah we want to go through there we want to open that up onto there we want to pull that through. We want to drop that now. Drop that down there. We want to drop that through there. Open that up. Feed it over there. Drop that down. And Bob's your uncle. Right? And this will take a suitable size pot. In this case, using the kidney-shaped stainless steel pot, or you could use a round pot. And now we're going to make a fire in there, and we're going to see how we get on. So over and out for now.
Sounds like we've got a boil. Yep. Lovely rolling boil. Yeah, I mean, in all fairness, it's probably been boiling for a wee bit. So, yeah, say 10 minutes, 8 minutes, something like that. Let's try it on a frying pan, see how that works out. Okay, this is my stainless steel uh, pan. It's uh, quite hefty. I don't know what the diameter is. I'll measure it later if you want. I have seasoned it, as you can see. But I've never used it in uh, in anger. Grillmaster. It's from Grillmaster. I have a larger one. This is about the heaviest I'd want to put in a, in a, in a backpack. It's a bit, a bit different on the ATV. And it does fit. I tried it before off camera. I'm going to add a bit of, uh, a bit of lard. A bit of pig fat. Svinska mass. You see? We're going to add some of that. And we're going to fry up some chicken nuggets. dollop of that make it easy for me to take it off later having the handles this way I just want to melt the the pig fat the lard off the spoon because otherwise it's waste of fat and also makes it more difficult to wash off. You need a lot of hot water. It'll still leave a fine film on there. I'll get a dog to lick it in a bit, don't worry. It'll be fine. So, here's our chicken nuggets and cheese. Probably had a pass-by date of about five years ago, at a good guess, knowing me. Been in the freezer, a freezer, and it gets forgotten about. Chicken nuggets and cheese. Soggy bottles. I'll drop them on the deck. The dogs will be happy, but not me. Let's let that smoke up a bit. I trust this bachelor. Well, that's about my lot for the first batch. I can't get any more in. This is my bread oven or you know, I need to show you one day using it. I've used, a barbecued whole lambs and pigs here, but yeah, not, not so much use on the bread oven itself. use a lid from my kitchen pot why not use it it won't, it won't melt no fl direct flame on it let's have a look see how the fire's going let's have a poke about ah it's in the all ash down there it's in the all ash down there boy So we'll fry up with ash.
watch pot never boils, or a watch kettle never boiling, it's a watch pot never boils. If they stick, it means the pan wasn't hot enough to begin with. But anyway, it's all good stuff. Golden brown, do 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 do. A golden brown. How are we doing? I think we ain't far away <clears throat> for that. Soggy mess, perhaps. It should have been, as I say, didn't get the fat hot enough to begin with. That's my opinion. But, you know, it's again, it's all experimentation, isn't it? That's what it's all about. That was okay. Not as golden brown as I would like. Let's see how the fire is underneath. The only thing with this, obviously, you can't keep feeding it. You need to. You have a lot of charcoal in there. <laughs> and charred wood, because it's the wood I'm using. It'd be great for with a, with uh, with barbecue uh, coals, char coals. Or hardwood, I guess. This is pretty punky wood, but it's very, it is dry. I mean, it's been collected and I've sieved it, get the dust out of it, but it does take a little bit to get it going. When you deep fry, well, it's not shallow frying, it's okay if you're doing eggs and stuff, and but when you want to, to, to get a crispy coat, and you need to have a high temperature. I didn't have it hot enough. This is the problem. This is the problem. A bad workman always blames his tools. I'm not blaming them. I'm blaming myself. Because I didn't get it right. As I say, that's what experimentation is all about. I've got a little bit of time today. I ain't got much time. I'm on my own. For a couple of months, my wife has gone back to visit her family in Russia. She hasn't seen them for five years. And she's got admin to sort out there. So I'm here in this massive place. Billy now mates, me and the dogs and the cats and the chickens. I don't have a lot of time to do things that I want to do, but I thought today I'll do this. I'll experiment. I thought, yeah, I've, got, I've been using these things for quite a while. Never filmed it. But I'll try this one. This one's new and it's a little bit bigger, so yeah. Now, a bit of a blow. What's he read? I've got smoke in my eyes. Golden brown, do 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 do, golden brown. Well, not exactly golden brown, but soggy brown. That'll do. Mm. 
can see. What we left in here is because it weren't hot enough. If it was all hot enough from the beginning, like everything else, mild steel, stainless steel, cast iron, well cast iron is a little bit different of course, but you need to seal straight away and it, this is sticking because it's not you know, I keep telling you I didn't have it hot enough that's it anyway it'll be fine so it's not about the eating as such it's more about testing out that experiment but we will of course we've got to have some most of the old American Heinz ketchup haven't we yeah. gotta get our fingers dirty yeah dippy dippy do dropped it again maybe use a fork if it's civilized hmm? Where it's better. Fast food crap. I mean, yeah. Push comes to shove. You can eat this, but it was not my choice. <laughs> I don't know why the fuck I bought it in the first place. It's been there. I looked at the date, it expired last year, but it's been in the freezer, so. When you're hungry, more to point when you're really hungry, you eat things you never thought was possible. When you're starving, everything becomes possible. Well, Actually, they grow on you. They grow on you. But the rest of them are going to the dogs. Thanks for watching. Nobody's bought me a beer this month. How, how sad is that? I'm just joking. Troubled times. Troubled times. Introduction to my dogs. So, this is Wally. He's a very kind dog, Wally. This is the old guy. Mm hmm. Ratso, this is Ratso. Mm -hmm. He's also kind. Malcho, you all know Malcho. T -t 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 Malcho, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. he's not too sure about taking it from the. Uh -huh. t -t 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 get, your, get your nose out. This is Sanya. She's greedy. She'll take the fork. T -t 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 Tika, T. -t -t T -t Tika, Tika, uh -huh. get your nose out of my pot, uh -huh. Ratso, uh -huh. thanks for watching, over and out for now.